hello friends today we will discuss about simpson index and it's one of its numerical which is usually asked in csir exam so let's start its discussion so what is simpson index what do you mean by the term simpson index simpson index basically it's a um, measure of the probability that two individual which are randomly selected from a sample will belong to the same species that means if a forest consists of uh, of only, only a single species of trees that means the diversity of the forest is very less if the diversity of a forest is very less that means it only contains suppose x y z are different species of a tree if a forest contains only x species of trees so if we select only two trees from that forest and and if the forest contain only that x species of trees so the chances of getting that two tree from the same species will be high because the forest contains only one or two if let us suppose if the forest contains x y both species of tree so the diversity is again very less so in such cases the value of d which uh, gives uh, the simpson index uh, will be very high the value will basically ranges from 0 to 1 so if the value will be very high that means what the forest will have very less diversity because the value d here measures that the two trees which have been selected from the forest belongs to same species so if there is less diversity so the chances of getting the same tree will be very high so we will be having a very a very very high value very high value which means no diversity again if the forest contains a very huge number of different species a b c d e f g h i in that case the forest basically contains huge number of species so if we will select two trees from that forest there is a very less chance that the two trees will belong to a same species a or a same species b it it is uh, the higher chances that it can belong from species a one tree and other tree belong from species b so that is is basically your simpson diversity index simpson diversity index is a measure of diversity okay it is basically used to quantify the biodiversity of a habitat basically it is used to see whether your forest diversity is high or not so first we will calculate the simpson index value d okay and subtract it minus one so in such case what will happen if d will be less that means if diversity if simpson index value d is less and if you will minus it with one so we will get higher simpson diversity index which part which which will mean the forest diversity is very high as i have already told you that the value of d basically or the simpson index will be high will be one when when we are getting the two trees from the same species that means when the diversity is very less but when the diversity is very high that means when uh, a b c d e f g h i anything any different many different species are present then if we will select two trees so there is very less chance that the two trees will belong from the same species so in that case for high diversity our value of d will be very less let us suppose 0.2 so if we will minus 0.2 from 1 we will be getting 0.8 which is your simpson in the diversity index so for simpson diversity index if we will minus it with my, um, 1 and if you will get a very high value that means the diversity is very high okay so, so let's see here. so first uh, let us tell me the formula the formula of uh, the simpson diversity is summation of pi square where pi is the proportion of individual species and and its whole square so how we will apply this formula in this numerics let's see 
following table shows the number of individual of five tree species in a community so see here the 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 the, the tree species are basically here in in this case a b c d e five different species are present and the number of each trees for a particular species is given they told us that based on the above we have to calculate what simpson diversity index we have to calculate this ds summation of pi square they didn't ask us to calculate this one simpson diversity index which is after uh, finding out d um, uh, we have to subtract it mi minus from one so um, let's move forward so the formula of the simpson diversity index is ds is equal to summation of pi square so let us start calculating so first we have to calculate the total number of individual of all tree species that means the total number of all tree we have to calculate this 50 plus 20 plus 20 plus 5 plus 5 so you calculated this so the total number of tree species is 100 okay then we have to calculate your pi the proportion of each each tree proportion of each individual we have to calculate so uh, so 50 here is 50 number of individual is present for species a so its proportion among all will be 50 divided by 100 so n small n by capital n is equal to 0.5 that is the proportion of this a species among all three species is 50 divided by 100 equal to 0.5 so now for b number of species uh, of uh, uh, number of tree in species for species b was 20 so we have to take the number of individual of uh, number of individual tree of species b divided by total number of individual which is we are getting here 20 by 100.2 for species c again n by n so for species c the total number of tree was 20 so its proportion among the entire population is 20 divided by 100 is equal to 0 0.2 for species d again it was 5 so 5 by 100 is equal to 0 0.05 and for species e we again got you know, 5 divided by 100 is equal to 0 0.05 okay i hope you understand when we will calculate this pi we will do the square of this pi because the formula is ds is equal to summation of pi square okay so you have calculated the pi uh, pi square so 0.5 is pi pi square will be 0 0.5 into 0.5 is equal to 0.25 similarly pi2 will be 0 0.2 into 0 0.2 is equal to 0 0.04 pi2 same pi square d is 0.05 into 0 0.05 is equal to 0 0.0025 pi2 is, is equal to again 0.05 into 0 0.05 is equal to 0 0.0025 so the formula was ds is equal to summation summation of all this value summation of all this value pi square so the summation of all this value will be your 0 0.25 plus 0 0.04 plus 0 0.04 plus 0 0.0025 plus 0 0.0025 which is equal to 0.335 so our simpson index in this case is 0.335 okay so value is not very much high it's uh, around less so uh, we can say that our simpson diversity of index uh, will be very much higher because this value is less so when you will minus it with one you will get around uh, 6 point six something which is uh, quite higher and we can say that yeah diversity is very high and again you can see that there are five different species a b c d e so you can see here that the diversity of this forest is very high okay one more thing i would like to say you that this uh, simpson index is uh, that basically the disadvantage of this index is that it is more heavily weighted towards the more abundant species which means that it is more of your dominant index now how how this is the dominant index you can see that the pi a square 0 0.25 50 number of individual from species a which is highest uh, given in that table 50 so uh, 
0.25 the most abundant value of this um, pi square a uh, when you will account divide by this 0.335 of total simpson value you will get and uh, calculate this percentage you will get around 74 percent that means the point the the 74 percent of this value of this 0.335 value accounts for only species a that means what this is the most abundant one so the most abundant one accounts for most percent of this value okay so that's why it is known as your dominance index and for you can also see here that for less number of species for uh, this uh, species e the number of individual were 5 so pi square is 0 0.0025 so when you will uh, to account for the percentage of this 0 0.0025 among this uh, 0.335 we will get here 0.74 percent so this that means that the rare species will hardly scarcely change the index value okay so it is only changing the 0.7 percent of this 0.335 value but you can see for pia which was having which we are having a 50 number of individual was accounting for 74 percent of this value that means it is a dominance index so thank you hope you liked it please like and subscribe thank you